so hello guys today we are going to discuss this problem uh, analyze user website pattern and this is um, like most asked question in last six months in Amazon so there is on lead code company wise you can filter Amazon and in problems uh, I have selected last six months and in last six months I have selected a frequency so this is analyze user website pattern uh, so this is how it is and uh, okay and also if you can see this has a lot of dislikes but only few likes so uh, like l the problem is I believe is in, is in understanding the problem statement but the question involves a lot of uh, data structures and how we can arrange the map this uh, data structures maps and hash maps or tree maps that's one crux of this problem so let's let's get started so in question we are given um, <coughs> three arrays so first is the user array for example this then there is a timestamp array and then there is a website array so this what this is means that this user on this timestamp has visited this website so for example Joe has visited uh, website home at timestamp 1 then he has visited website about and in timestamp 2 and in, he has visited website th uh, career in timestamp 3 and finally uh, what we need is we need uh, like a combination of three websites as output so here the output is home about career and this combination should be in increasing sequence uh, and this is the pattern of three websites which is visited like uh, by most of the users so let me take the example here in order to understand it better so for example we have uh, these users these timestamps and these websites so now if we see Joe has visited uh, website home at timestamp 1 website about a timestamp 2 and website 3 at timestamp website career at timestamp 3 similarly James has this we website visiting pattern and Mary has this one so now in this case if we see uh, if we want to find out three most visited consecutive uh, three most visited uh, chronological websites so Joe has visited home about and career so if we see for Joe it's home about career then for James this is for Joe let me add it down then for James three websites will be home cart and maps so it will be home cart maps then uh, home cart and home right so home cart and home and then it will be cart maps and home cart maps and home right so these are visited by James uh, so if we see here in finding the pattern we cannot combine uh, any random order like cart home and maps we have to go chronologically and in order of the timestamps only then for Mary what we can have is only one pattern that is home about and career so if we see here home about and career was visited twice so that's why the answer is home about career then there are a few other things which need to be noted which are actually not mentioned in the question so when I tried few of the approaches and uh, my test cases failed so in if I if you see here in my submission some of my test cases failed so at that moment I realized that these constraints are also there so I'll just telling those constraints up front so it means that uh, it can be there that timestamps are not given always in ascending order so in this question if we see timestamps are always given in ascending order here also timestamps are given in ascending order but for a particular user there can be a case where timestamps are not given in ascending order so in that case in this case for example Joe visits uh, a website home at timestamp 3 one at uh, about at 1 and 3 at career so this can be a given input but the valid series or with the valid uh, output can be about home and career that is we have to arrange those these in uh, order of the timestamp and then that can be valid home about career will not be valid in this case then uh, one user like if one user visits uh, more than once the same website pattern for example if this is some uh, example pattern given so here the visited website by Joe can be home about career 
at position at timestamp 123 and then it can be home about career at timestamp 124 so in this case we will not count them as two we will only count them once so joe has visited only home about career one time like the output should uh, in output we need to consider it only as one and then uh, there is another constraint that we have to return lexicographically smaller pattern for example if joe has visited one two three that is home about and career and then he has visited home career and about so both the counts are one so the question says is we have to return the largest score but here both scores are one so in this case we will see that which website pattern is lexicographically smaller so here home about and career is smaller than home one about one and career one so that's why the answer should be home about career okay so now uh, with these things in mind let's see that how we are going to approach the problem so uh, we are given three input uh, like uh, I'm, I'm just solving in c plus plus so we are given three vectors so initially we'll be uh, as i have told that the timestamps can uh, not always be in ascending order so we'll be taking up a map uh, so this is a hash map or in C++ we have this unordered map and in ordered map we'll be taking uh, key as the username and value as again a map and map of timestamp and um, website so why this map because finally I want to arrange all these into a uh, increasing timestamp order so if something like this happens so i will have entry as something as one career and about so um, after the uh, like this is our first step so i'll have a hash map something like this so this is an ordered map where key is the username and the this is again a map so this is a map this is a value and it will be timestamp and the website now let me erase this okay now in the second step what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, traverse this unordered map and then I'll go to the value of inside this hash map that is map and then I'm going to create a website pattern by placing dollar sign in between so for example when I go to the user Joe so in that case I'll um, have uh, and I'll take three websites so I'll have uh, one as home dollar uh, okay let me see the so for for Joe we'll have home about and career for James what we'll have is home cart and maps so this is for James then uh, for James we'll have home cart and home so again this is for James then we'll have cart maps and home so this is cart maps and home so this is again for James so James will have these three uh, patterns and their uh, frequency of occurrence is only once then for Mary we'll have home about and career so since we already had a ma entry in the map so in that case we'll just increment it to two so this entry is like these entries are all also done in an ordered map of string and count so string here that is this is key is string which is the pattern of websites or maybe I can say three websites uh, pattern and count is like number of times it occurred right so after this uh, we are good um, we'll just look into the maximum count in the unordered map in the hash map and if we found this one so we will we uh, search for max count and once we found it we just create the output vector that is we create vector so vector will be created by removing dollars and we'll return this output so let's go through the code how it is done here uh, let me just minimize it okay so here I have taken in the first step as an ordered map which I have already told let me just scroll it to left so in the first step we are going to take a hash map that is an ordered map and we are going to make uh, 
like an order map having key as the user and value as the map which contains the timestamp and uh, the website so if we see here we are going to all the users then we are uh, so if so this is the unordered map of uh, user and website so if uh, I am able to find a username in this map in that case uh, if I'm not able to find the username then I'm just creating a map I'm inserting into the map if I'm able to find a username that means uh, this entry is already there now I have two and about to insert insert so I'll go to the second second is all a map and I'll take key as the timestamp 2 and insert value as the website so this first step is done here now in the second step we are going to iterate through all of the entries in our earlier unordered map created and we will be uh, like using these three for loops to look at one two and three uh, like three patterns so we I'm just taking uh, iterator to the website begin so the first iterator will be at home then I'm taking iterator to next of the website so second iterator will be at about and third iterator will be at the career <clears throat> so the string is created that is home about and career and I am inserting it into an unordered set uh, unordered set so this is the unordered set here and why this is so if we have this case for example home about career and home about career happening for two times for the user so in that case I'm only I'll only be counting it one once so all the patterns are actually inserted into the unordered set for a particular user then those patterns are actually placed in the map so finally what the our aim is our aim is to create this an order map of string of three patterns and count so we are ready with here after this step right so now uh, we have to calculate our lexographically largest uh, largest counter lexographically so what we are doing here is I'm going into this unordered map uh, and if I found a count uh, so I have taken count as minimum so if count is greater than minimum for example I found it one so one uh, I count that is the second is greater than the minimum it will always be so I'll just keep count as I count and output as the string website that is output as something as the three website pattern now if then in the next time I found count as bigger for example I found count as earlier I had the count as two now I have count as three so in this case I my count is bigger and I'll note the maximum uh, count here but what happens if uh, all counts are one so one 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 or for example this one right so if count is equal to the previously stored count so in that case I am comparing this lexographically so string output is uh, the previously stored output if it is if previous is greater than the present so for example if previous this one is greater than the present and this this will be right because M happens later than the home so my output will be present right so this is how lexographically thing uh, sorting or the maximum count is done and finally I am just going to remove the dollar signs from between and pushing that into the vector and finally returning the vector out of it so that uh, so this is how uh, this problem goes like this so you can actually uh, so okay let me discuss about the time complexity of this problem as well so in initial step while creating this website it will be on and the number of entries uh, for this step uh, creating an ordered map then in this unordered map we are going uh, into we are creating all the patterns so now this will be on cube how for example we have uh, all same users for example Joe 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 and all till end are Joe's only so now in this case I'll be create I'll be going into every combination for the Joe so it will be O N cube here right and finally uh, for count for getting the maximum uh, so that this will be lesser than the O N cube because um, if all are unique all are ones so it will be n by 3 in this case and finally this is only uh, one so o n cube will be the time complexity of this one so 
and this is the accepted solution here uh, so thanks a lot have a good day